in plain vanilla Q Reader, and even more so when you install applications from the App Exchange, there are very many reports available. If we go here, you see the richness of all all the reports that exist. Definitely quite a bit of them, particularly for compliance and those reasons. And you may be using them today, but I'm sure that you will agree that these are the look and feel is uh, long in the tooth, as they say here. They don't look, you know, very nice. Let's take a look at this one, for example. Uh, this is just me logging into my curator system and, you know, this is not modern, this is not good looking. How can we migrate this to the good looking polls? But I don't want to learn any AQL. I don't know AQL, so I don't, I don't want to deal with that. Well, this short video is, is a small trick to actually do that. So if we go into the particular report, by like editing the report, we go to the second page. It's composed of three panes. In, in, in Pulse, you know that you can have as many widgets as you want. And uh, the important part is here, let's do the first chart, right? Click here on where it says define. And all the reports, as you know, probably are based on a safe search. In this particular case, it's Curator Audit Authentication Success by Username. That's all you need to know. Actually, we can leave this. And go straight here to the log activity tab and we are going to be looking at search edit search and we're going to put that name authentication that was a success by username this is here. and the trick here is going to be to exploit the show aql button that gives me that AQL, I don't, I don't want to build this AQL stuff, and I don't need to. Somebody did it for me already, so it's in my clipboard already. All I need to do is go to Pulse. I was actually doing this, trying this before recording the video. So go to Dashboard, New Dashboard. It's going to be a blank dashboard. You need to put a name, Q Radar Authentication. You put a description, whatever you want to put in here, and you click next. And say you want to use any of the existing widget, you can, but I'm going to just create a new one. I'm going to call it part one of the report, whatever, you know, the description. And in here, when you say that the data source is going to be AQL, when you select that, you say, well, give me the AQL, paste from the clipboard and run the query to test it out. And yeah, it sure enough comes with the data that you want. How do I want to look this? And again, I'm not going to spend a lot of time on the making it beautiful. There are many videos that show you all the features on Pulse. And there's a link in the video description where you can download that PDF more on that uh, later. But uh, in this view, we can call it uh, view one. Select the chart type. Well, the the easiest for me in this particular case will be a tabular. Yep, and that's that's looks good enough. But if you prefer to do, what else can we do here? A pie chart. You can actually do that, but you need to specify what is it that you're going to be putting. It's going to be source name, and it's going to be account here. And obviously, I, I was logging as root all the time. So I think that the tabular makes uh, more sense here. You have time series, you have, you know, all, all this stuff. And basically you click here, create, and here is a better looking version of that type of uh, old report in the new Pulse format. Also, if you want to do a particular search, uh, you want to do a Pulse view, a Pulse dashboard. Based on a particular search, you, you just go ahead and do 
you know, the search, select the columns, you know, right here, if you want to group by, by a particular property, do so, put the filters, get your stuff, and then save it. And when you have saved, you will have this show AQL button to highlight, to be highlighted, so you can grab that AQL. Again, no need to learn AQL to actually do this. And to get more sophisticated in Pulse, uh, in, this is the, my channel. In, in the video description of uh, all of my videos, you'll find this link. When you click in it, that's my box folder. There are some Pulse dashboards in there in case that you are interested or you haven't seen this. But if you go to the second page in here, you'll find this particular PDF. Once you download it, you'll find a section here just dedicated to polls and tricks and good things on how to do your nice polls report. So again, short video to just to show how you can convert a traditional career report into a good-looking polls one without having to know anything about AQL.